Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I want to do a Capricorn love prediction reading for December 5th through December 11th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, kind, loyal, sweet Capricorns. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on, my stubborn, loyal, sweet, kind Capricorns? Show me, spirit guides. What's going on? Let's see, Cappies. What you got going on? Let's see. Oh, I got the Hierophant. The Queen of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands. And the star card. Well, I've got the Hierophant here. And the Hierophant is all about, it can be a Taurus person, can be anyone. But the Hierophant card represents the star, the uh, Taurus zodiac sign. But this Hierophant that's right here, there's something, there's something hidden here. And I don't know, but this Hierophant is here. And this Hierophant is about love, marriage, uh, being married. But... I see a queen of cups and, and I'm going to say what I, what, what the spirit guys are telling me. I think that you are a queen of cups to someone that is married. I think that you are in love with someone that is already married. I do. Um, because the queen of cups is that ride or die card. That's you would do anything for this person. You are their safe mate. You are, you are where they run to every time, even though I think they're married. I think this person is married, but you are the person that they run to every time. They tell you everything. You know everything about them. You love them in spite of all their nastiness. And I'm not saying that they're nasty. But in spite of all, in spite of all their faults, you love them. You are in love with someone that is married. Someone that is married. You're this queen of cups. Now, the queen of cups has to be very careful because people can walk over the queen of cups. The queen of cups can be too generous and too kind. But here's what's happening here because the five of pentacles is in the middle of this reading. Because you love this person, but they're already taken, they're already married. Um, because you love them, you feel um, you feel like a loss. You feel like you're unworthy. You feel like you know you can't be with them, but you know, but you still stick in there with them. You still take their calls. You still talk to them. But why? Why not move on to someone or to something? That can bring you happiness. A relationship that can bring you happiness. Because this one does not. You feel very much out of sorts with this with this relationship. It's a relationship. I don't know if they even know that you're in love with them. I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to keep reading. But here I have the seven of wands too. The seven of wands is that you always make excuses for this person. This is someone that you always make excuses for. All you do is you have, you know, you, when someone asks you about, why you don't have someone else? Why you're not with someone else? Why are you still um, wanting to be with them when they're with someone else? I don't even know if it's a marriage, but it is a long-term commitment. Why they haven't come to you? If they bring everything to you, why? You always have to make excuses. You always have to be have you know, it's, you always have an attitude when it comes to people that ask you about this person because you love this person. You are in love with this person. And here is this star card. The star card can be an Aquarius person. It can be an Aquarius person. But that star card means that you are um, just in hope. <laughs> you know, all you think about is them. All you do is hope in your heart. All you do is hope that they will come to you. That they will understand you. That they will love you. That they would, whomever they're with, that they will leave the other person. If this is your read, Cap. Please sit back, relax, and let me clarify the cards for you because I want to see what the spirit guides want to show me about this reading. 
I want to see. Um, if I were you, I would want to know because you are hoping. You're hoping that this person, you and this person will finally get together because you are in love with this person, but they have someone else. You are in love with someone that has someone else. So let's see why the Hierophant is here. Show me. Sit back and relax. Give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. The Hierophant. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Hierophant here? Huh? Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I don't think that this person is exactly faithful. I'm going to be very honest. I don't think that they're a faithful person because there's a lot of different options. But I don't think that they're very faithful. I don't. Um... This is a relationship that they're in, but they're not faithful to this one person. Of course not, because all they do is talk to you. You are their their person. You are their person. And I think maybe this person is kind of trying to figure out what the heck, how did this happen? How are they with someone when you are whom they, I think they really want to be with you? But I don't know. Let's see. Let's keep reading. Let's see. The Queen of Cups. Show me why the Queen of Cups is here. Oh, this Knight of Swords. You'll do anything for this person. You will run. You will chase them. You will be there for them. You don't care. My night of source is all about chasing. That queen of cups, you chase them. And when I say you chase them, you chase them. You always want to know what they're doing, where they are, how we can get together. You know, even though they come to you, you go to them as well. This is, this is a relationship that's still ongoing when someone already has a partner. But you're still there. And you're still brave and being courageous. And you still you chase them. And when I say you chase them, you do. All you do is chase them. This Queen of Cups uh, with this Knight of Swords. What you do is you chase them. Now, chasing doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually um, physically chasing them. But mentally, you're chasing them. Well, how you do that mentally is that you always call them. You always reach out to them. They, never re they don't reach out to you, but you're the one that's always taking the initiative. That's unlike you, Capricorn. That's very much unlike you. So let's see why the Five of Pentacles is here. But this person has got you there. So let's see why the Five of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh, wow. I see the Ten of Cups. All you think about is your happily ever after, and it depresses you. It brings you down. Because you know what? You know that this is not your happily ever after if they're with someone else. Are they looking at you as they're happily ever after? I don't know. But this person is with someone else. But you want them to be your happily ever after. You want them to come to you. I don't know if they're necessarily married to someone else. But they are with someone else. So let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Uh-oh. I see that tower. And that tower means that you, would th you and this person, this is an ending. You're ending this because you know why? Now, that's a definitely a Capricorn move. That tower card means that you've had enough of it because you've given all you can give. You've chased them. And when I say chased them, not physically, but you've chased them. You've shown them that you're there for them. You've been there for them. Um, and they, they still did not come your way. In other words, they still did not let this go to be with you. And you're tired of defending it. So what you're saying is that I've had enough of it. I'm going to end this. This is a sudden ending. I mean, it's almost like you woke up one morning and was just like, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this feeling. I don't want this feeling of lack, this feeling of I'm not good enough, this feeling of, of low self-esteem. That is not Capricorn. You know that Capricorn. You don't deal in that. You don't deal in that. And you understand that. So what is happening here is with the seven of wands, you're tired of defending defending them. You're tired of being on your, you're tired of being in your feelings about them. So you're leaving them. You've left them. So let's see why the star card is here, though. Let's see why the star card is here. I hope you've left them. Let's see why the star card is here. Show me spirit guides. Well, <laughs> you can't leave them alone, Cap. That judgment card, dude, that's my reunion card. That's getting back together. You keep saying you're going to walk away. You're going to leave them. You're going to end it. But you don't. There's still so much hope here. With this judgment card. You still see them as so much hope. You want to end it. The seven of wands keeps telling me that you want to let them go. You want to move on. But they are still there in your energy. You are still in love with them. Let's start at the very beginning. The hierophant card. This is someone that is either married or in a long term relationship. And here's the queen of cups. You are their queen of cups. 
You are their goodness to them. You bring, They bring everything to you. You're their ride or die. You know everything about them, in spite, even their nasty ways, and you still love them. But here's this hyphen here. says they have other options as well. This is a person that even though they may be in a relationship with someone, they are not, they're, <clears throat> excuse me, they have a lot of other options. So with that Queen of Cups, I see that Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords to me here means that you chase this person. When I say chase them, you're not physically chasing them, but you call them, you send them texts, you DM them, you Instagram, everything. You are there. It's like it's the chase. You chase them. And then here's the Five of Pentacles because guess what? You feel you don't feel like they are giving back to you what you want from them. Because the Five of Pentacles means loss. Means loss. Because now loss, you have the Ten of Cups there, which means you want a happy home, happy life. You want to be a happily ever after with them. But it's not possible because they have not moved from this other person. For some odd reason, they are still with this same person, with this other person, and not with you. Here's the Seven of Wands here when you're in your fields. You're defending every everything about them. No matter when people come to you and say, why are you still dealing with them? You have to uh, you have to defend them. You don't understand why. But here's this tower. It's like you woke up one morning and said, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let them go. I don't understand. But right now, they're not my person. I'm going to let them go. But guess what? Here's the star card, which can be an Aquarius person, can be anyone, but you still have great hope for this relationship. You still have great hope for this relationship. And then you have the judgment card. The judgment card means you get back together with them. There's a reunion that comes along. You get back together with this person. You still love this person. You know, the heart wants what the heart wants, and you are still in love with this person. So let's see. Show me, spirit guides. Show me. Spirit guys, can you show me what do the angel oracles, what do the angel oracles, oracles want us to know? What do the angel oracles want us to know? Let's see. Let's see. Well, you know, the angel oracles say be assertive. Be assertive. I think they're telling you don't don't just let this go. And I, I really say that. And I normally don't say this, Cap. But I think that they're telling you to be assertive. Don't let this go like that. You still love them. And I do believe that they love you. I think that it just, sometimes it just takes a measure of time. But you, you know, you let them go, but you come back. The energy is still there. You're in love with each other. You can't walk away from them. I think that you you should hold on to them. You should hold on. You should be assertive. Not aggressive. Don't chase them. But be assertive. Let them know that you're still there for them. But I think you also should not let be with them until they let this other person go. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.